Part 2 of question 2a, it says solve the following equation by factorization. Let's see what happens. You have 2x squared minus 9x is equal to 0. So 2x squared minus 9x is equal to 0. You can find a common factor between 2x squared and 9x, which is x. So you have x here inside the bracket. x into 2x squared goes 2x minus x into 9x goes 9. Close bracket equals 0. All right? Now, it asks you to solve. So you're going to find out what x is equal to. Now, there are two possibilities. x here can be 0 because 0 times a number is 0. If this is 0 times 2 times x, which is 0 minus 9, it will give you 0 times negative 9, which is 0. So x can be 0. Alright? x itself can be 0. This is x times something else. Two numbers multiplied and the answer is 0. Means one of them is 0. Or maybe the other one is 0. Or both are 0. So it could be that x itself is 0. It could also be that the other number that multiply that the other factor that is multiplied is zero. It could be that two x minus nine is zero. So you could make a statement that either x is zero or two x minus nine is zero. You see that? Now, if x is 0, x is just 0. So, this is part of the answer. Now, since x multiplies 2x minus 9, then either x is 0 or 2x minus 9 is, is 0, or both. Suppose it is a case where 2x minus 9 is 0. What happens? Now, we have this already down. Let's check out the 2x minus 9. If 2x minus 9 is equal to 0, then if we add 9 to both sides, because we want x equal, get rid of 9 and get rid of 2. Let me just um, make some space here. Give the 9 some space. Equal 0. To get rid of negative 9, you add 9 plus 9. Negative 9 plus 9 is 0. So you have 2x. You don't have to worry about the 9 anymore on the left hand side because negative 9 plus 9 is 0. This is gone. But when you add 9 to the left, you throw the equation off balance. Adding 9 to the left make the left heavy. Heavier than the right. So you have a tilting of the scale. So you must add 9 to the right too to restore balance. So 0 plus 9 is 9. So 2x is equal to 9. Alright? Now, 2 times x is equal to 9. 2 times which number gives you 9? Or, if you don't want to think of it that way, if you have 2 times x is equal to 9, get rid of the 2 and say, let's do it separately, 2x is equal to 9 divided by 2, 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 2 goes 1, you get rid of the 2, so you have x equal. You got rid of the 2 by dividing the left hand side by 2. So that you have x alone equals. 
But if you divide the left hand side by 2, you know what you're supposed to do. Divide the right hand side by the same 2. 2 into 9 goes 4.5. So this is the other x. You could have also done it from here by saying, you, you could have got the 4.5 here by up here by saying 2 times what gives you 9? You know it's 2 times 4.5 gives you 9. So in any case, you have two answers. x equals 0 or x equals 4.5. As you know, you will have two answers for a quadratic equation and it is a quadratic equation, all right? So x equals 0 or x equals 4.5 is your answer here.